everybody ladies and gents uh we have made it to winchester i know the last video i said that we were going to go to halifax but uh we uh changed our decision and came up here to uh winchester a uh, pretty good field of cars got some really good cars here um miss thomas he was at uh i believe that's the name he was at county line last week he's here you got rick holson he's usually pretty quick um, Jesse Jasmer Jr. is here. There's a, there's a few. They're great, great looking cars here. But I think this might be their first race of the year up here. So um, we decided to come up here just to uh, have some fun and see what we can't do. Maybe we'll luck up and get us a win. Maybe we won't. But uh, we're going to see what we can't do out here. Have a little bit of fun. And got little man out there playing already. But. Uh, we're uh should be pretty ready to go we finished the car up last night really ain't had a lot of time this week to you know all i had to do is fix the body pretty much and get the uh get the um pull bar situation fixed but we're out here and we're ready to rock so we're gonna have some fun we'll bring y'all along with us
battle engine night there. Uh, really not much to say. It's kind of on me. Got a little sideways and just kind of got ping pong there, but bumper bear pretty much fell off of it and it is what it is. We'll uh, probably gonna put a body on this thing and build a good bumper. I just reused the bumper that was on it and kind of patched it back together, but we're gonna get her fixed up. And All right, guys, so just unloaded the car at the shop. We'll close in a minute, Bubba. We just got the car unloaded, got in the shop, and uh, pulled the nose off. As y'all saw, it got stuffed in the dirt, and we pretty much drove over it. But um, it happens. I, I think I had a little too much gear in the car. Um, we just didn't have a chance to uh, pull it out. They were moving super quick up there, which is awesome. And uh, Dad made the suggestion. I give him credit where it's due. Pull some gear out. Um, we just didn't have a we didn't have the time to do it. But uh, anyhow, we're uh, we're back from it. We'll put it in the past. Got to have a real short memory in racing. Um, but anyhow, I uh, think I found why the car, if you steer more to the, if you steer to the right, it would like lock and bind up real bad. And it just got worse and worse. Um, this is where, you know, throwing a car together like this in a couple days doesn't, uh, doesn't always give you the best results. And uh, this is why you need to go through your car and you, you know what you got. Um, last year I did the best thing I could have with my shawl. And uh, you know, I put all brand new parts on it, stuck in the back. But you know, I didn't do this for this car and it kind of bit me. Um, I kind of feel like I've wasted two weekends of racing. Um, sure, I had a great time spending time with my dad and my, uh, my mom at Cannon Line and my son and all that kind of stuff. But uh, I'm about to show y'all what was uh, causing the thing, and y'all uh, saw this on the shawl last year, and I had to fix it too, where the frame horn got bent. I don't think the frame horn's bent on this car. I think it's actually just like the uh, the pitman arm and or the center, center link. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace both of those, cheap security, and um, that's all we can do. So, so if y'all look right there, you can see that ain't no good. And uh, yeah, so if you look at the geometry on the uh, front end, the uh, tie rod, inner tie rod right here it's pushed all the way up against the frame and on this side whoop there it is it's not so you got plenty of clearance over here none over here this uh idle arm looks bent to me and it looks like it's bent up which would have uh actually pushed that closer to the cross member so i think that's where my steering issue lies I thought since they had the steering stop in here, it was over apexing the steering. However, as we see, we actually got bent parts. And uh, the steering link does kind of look bent. Um, if y'all go back and watch the shawl video where I cut everything out up here, where the frame horn was actually buckled here with the control arm on the shawl mounted, it was buckled there. It actually accordioned. Well, I come up here and I just fixed my, I reboxed my pitman arm here. And if you look at it from the side, you can see where it's moved about a quarter inch. So it's rotated like this. You can see it. So I'm not sure when that happened, but uh, I know it's bent and we need to fix it. So that's what we're going to do. All right, buddy, show us what's wrong. Where's it at? Oh, it's that piece. That's just a brace. You looking her over for me? We got to get this thing ready because we're going to be at VMS April 15th, right? Uh -uh. Yeah, we're going to go up there. Hopefully, we'll be in the new car, but we might be in this one. So, little man's going to get it ready for me. Ain't you? Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. No? No. I give you one. No. This is his favorite word, no. Hey, how guys? I appreciate y'all watching. Um... We're still going to be putting videos out. I think we're going to go ahead and put a body on this car. The nose is pretty much trash. I don't have any black sheet metal, but we got some blue over here, which just a little teaser. Longhorn will be blue. It'll uh, be all blue with white uh, skirts. Kind of look like this late model right there. But uh, so we're going to go ahead and do this car up like it. Really good car. Um, I just fighting steering and I see why now. Um, now I will say, I don't think it was like that. Um, before going to the racetrack uh but you never know um 
could have happened at county line i really i'll be honest i was kind of lazy well, not really lazy i just didn't have the time to go through the car like i really wanted to before going uh to either halifax or winchester which we ended up going to winchester just made a little bit more sense but um anyhow you know stuff happens like this in racing and you just got to brush it off and keep trucking and uh pretty much do that you know your whole life but uh anyhow we're gonna end this thing off like comment subscribe all that kind of stuff and a big thank you to this fella for letting me borrow a race receiver and helping me get the car together the week that we went to county line he called me out because i didn't thank him but i'm thanking him now